Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Kingdoms. Minamoto Commander Spotlight version 2.0. This is the first one that I'm doing from the legendary. So I finished with all the epics. If you guys want to see the list, I'm going to post a card up top. All you have to do is scroll down the list and see all the Commander version 2.0 that I have done. It's been more than a year since I have done their Spotlight. So they definitely deserve a review. In one year, a lot of things could have happened and obviously a lot of game time has passed through. More experience we gained using these commanders. Right, yo, let's go straight into the business. First thing first about Legendary, this is very, very important. Stars are at a premium cost. You definitely want to know how much it's going to cost to six star a Legendary. It's no joke, I'm telling you it's no joke. And then you also want to know about the sculptures, 690 sculptures. But it's something more important that I need to mention about Minamoto is that he is a VIP commander. That means that the only way to obtain Minamoto is from the special privileges. VIP 0 or VIP 1 up to VIP 9, you pretty much need to buy all of them. And that gives you 690 sculptures to max his skill. It's gonna cost you an overall of 200 bucks. But if you wanna go econ economy way with Minamoto, as long as you max his primary and his sec secondary skill, that's the most economic way I would go with Minamoto. And players have told me that that cost you only about 20 bucks. So you can have a pretty worthy legendary early game into the kingdom. Probably later on will still be effective because his primary skill is pretty dope. But if you're planning for the long run and you're still like a very low spender, I was I would actually suggest saving up money and just maxing out his skill. Make sure you have a maxed out legendary, it's definitely worth it. That 25% chances will actually proc and his additional damage is pretty significant. 600 times 2. So I would definitely go for that extra 25% chances. Right yo, couple more important things about legendaries is that equipment only applies from the primary commander. So make sure if Minamoto is going to be your primary commander, he has the right equipment. Talents only apply from the primary commander. So make sure you have the correct talents or you have the correct commander primary with the correct equipment. This can actually give you a high advantage. Also keeping any commander at one star and maxing their primary skill usually is the most important part on kind of any legendaries. The primary skill is their important skill. You want to first max out that. His second skill, Cav Attack and Mars Speed Bonus, that's pretty significant, especially very early game into the kingdom where when Mars Speed is not so accessible anywhere else, damage, Mars Speed and Attack, that's pretty much what helps you win the field battles. But by on damage and you're probably wondering, why do I need the last two skills? Does it actually worth it $180 or what? how much is going to cost you to buy the other privileged chests so you can uh, pretty much max your Minamoto it does work it Minamoto has a lot more utilities than you can actually think about and Warlord which increase the damage taken by the target by 30% this is also very very good even that it can only trigger every five seconds it's still 30% if you have this skill at one it's only 10% that's quite a significance right Let's go into his talents and then we can talk about his pairings. Cause oh boy, he has a lot of pairings, definitely. He's pretty universal. Might sound very very hard for you, but he is. He has a lot of utilities. His one commander, which um <laughs> at some point I had seven, seven talent builds for Minamoto, but I have tuned that down to like one or two. In the end, I stopped using the other ones. And let's just go and let's talk. So this is his field battle talent build that I have right now. Especially if you're using him with Pelagius or especially if you're using him with double C commanders that have rage restoration. I definitely recommend this talent build, this part of the skill or this part of cavalry. Now, if you're early in the kingdom, if you're at the 
middle of the king the beginning of the kingdom i do apologize until the middle of the kingdom i have a recommend going for the feral nature especially if you're low tech even if you're in the late game or in the end game late game not end game i still recommend feral nature if you don't have the technology to actually have maximum boost stats on your troops you definitely want feral nature so you can pop those skills as fast as possible or as often as possible and for that you need to drop disarm undying fury attack and two points in dragon spear and at that point dragon spear is not going to be worth it and you can put one point in health pretty much the same way is genghis khan build done so that's the talent build that I would recommend for low technology or early game into the kingdom. If you're probably wondering, disarms is probably sounding a little bit useless for you. 20% attack when you have double C, you have Attila, you have Ethelflaed now, and what else, Belisarius or who, which, how many other commanders there are that reduce attack even Constantine. Why does it work to have disarm? Well, I tell you from I tell you right now a very important information is that this arm actually goes with those skill. So it's this this arm this time that actually reduce attack. It actually works with those skills. So let's say you have Attila who's reducing attack of the target by 50%. This arm work hand in hand with that. I'm not saying that it's gonna proc in the same time when it's gonna go in, but if you have that 10% chance and they go in in the same time. They actually stack or at least last time i checked the battle log they do go hand in hand that means that you can get up to 70 percent attack or 60 or 50 percent attack reduction on the target just bear in mind one thing you can never reduce someone's attack or defense to zero that's not gonna happen but still it works so this is this might be something that you want to think about other modifications you can do to this talent build would definitely be for hitting objectives in the lost kingdom or barbarian force which some people are asking now if you want to do barbarian force or any objectives in the lost kingdom you definitely need feral nature you definitely need latent power and you definitely need killer instinct domination and mighty force this is exactly how I'm, t I'm, uh, I'm taking down any objectives in the Lost Kingdom with this particular build. But I think I, I have it done. So this is the build if you want to take any type of forts or any type of objectives in the Lost Kingdom. This is the build that I use. I literally use this build for two KVKs. So in two KVKs using Minamoto, Genghis Khan or Minamoto double C. I've taken down any kind of objectives in the KVK. Doesn't matter if there were infantry in there, doesn't matter if there were calves or archers. This is the build, the talent build that I used. And one rally and we took down everything in the KVK. So definitely you can be used for forts as well. But probably if you want to do forts, you might want to have at least insight and that's six talent points. So for six talent points, you kind of need to drop some attack from this part. So you need to drop one, four, five, and one point from there, which is six. So you can get your insight. If you just care about doing barbarian forts. And if you do barbarian forts, it's probably even worth naked rage because those forts do very less skill damage. And then you have to drop another two points from attack and you pretty much ruining all the calf build and one point from halbert i like it the way it works like that against barbarian forts and like i said against any objectives in the lost kingdom we take them down with a single rally going back to this build i can also tell another build that i have on minamoto and it was very popular it was a mobility build because Minamoto has peacekeeping. So you can literally get 18% march speed from the peacekeeping talent tree. You can uh, actually get 6% march speed from here. You have to, to drop rejuvenate and the other stuff. You can keep burning blood all for one. Clarity, you get thoroughbreds. And then you have march speed, march speed and march speed. 
I'm not 100% sure you might have enough talents for Emblazoned Shield as well, which is a very important skill. So that way you can do a very fast mobility build for Minamoto if that's what you want to do with your Minamoto. You just want some fast caps while still having the damage bonuses or the damage capabilities plus the beauty of the cavalry talent tree. But this is this build that I have now and the first that I mentioned with Feral Nature if you're early game, these are the, the two best builds and after that the third build is gonna be if you're gonna rally objectives in the Lost Kingdom or any kind of forts. Right yo, let's go into the pairings because oh boy, <laughs> like I said, as he has a lot of pairings, more calf commanders that are introduced into the game more pairings there will be so for me he is a um, primary commander you know you can tell that by the way. equipment i mean i wouldn't put that on a second in command and right now i use him with sansu i use miyamoto primary and i use sansu second but in the future my plan is that i will put him with takeda because from all my marches miyamoto is kind of the weakest and after that it's probably babers and there's nothing i can do with babers but with Minamoto, I think I will actually change Sansu, even though in terms of damage it's not that wise, because Sansu has skill damage, AoE, rage restoration, that's pretty dope for Minamoto, but pretty weak in the same time. Max Takeda, and I'm gonna put Minamoto with Takeda. If they survive longer, in theory, they should do more damage, right? It pretty much makes sense. Plus, Grant's normal attack chance to give more march speed, that's pretty insane cav attack bonus 40 percent i think it might just overcome uh, sansu at that point with all these kind of bonuses that takeda can offer and it also debuffs a enemy single target for four seconds each time the target is a normal attack there's a 50 percent chance to receive an extra up to 50 percent normal attack i'm pretty sure if this is a debuff it's not just gonna be from one march is pretty much going to be from all marches so again for field battles minamoto and takeda might just be a thing or at least takeda might just be a needed thing if you want to pair him with someone else maybe you're happy with how your minamoto performs and then you have calf defense and some healing even though it's small but you know it can count as well over time then you have some skill damage reduction normal attack and counter attack so I believe that Takeda is going to be a very tanky commander for Cavs. Plus his expertise deal an extra 30% normal attack damage to enemies who have been debuffed by Fierce as the Fire. Now this is going to be very interesting. <clears throat> Once he obtains his expertise, that is just automatically buffed this to 80% or it's just for the march 30% when I'm gonna manage to max him out or if someone manage because if this goes to 80% and that's for all the marches that's pretty OP. Like I mentioned right now I use Minamoto with Sansu pretty good synergy damage skill a little bit of damage uh, reduction skill damage plus his expertise which gives you rage restoration and more damage to your primary skill. Other pairs that you can do with Minamoto double C if you're in the early games you don't have Genghis you don't have Saladin you can definitely put Minamoto in double C and I highly understand if you're unhappy with how Minamoto in double C survivability is on the battlefield or how much they survive because they have no freaking defense if you put Minamoto with double C on top of the fact that you have no defense if your double C is maxed out it even decreases your defense because you're trading in for attack. So you literally have 55% plus 20%, 75% attack on caps just from the skills with these two commanders. But again, you're sacrificing because you don't have no defense. Actually, you have even less than you should. <clears throat> but again, they are very strong against pretty much anything. The skill is very, very powerful. And like I mentioned, the attack reduction from double C does stack with disarm. So that brings you to about 60 percent if they all both go in the same time minamoto like i mentioned he has plenty of utilities with any calf marches you want to pair him he definitely does good even with Scipio, if he's doing 
horrible in defenses, you might say, what are you out of this world with Scipio? Well, if your Minamoto is just dying like a bomb in 5 seconds on the battlefield because your second in command is very weak, then you might just want to put someone like Scipio Africano. So if they want to focus on Minamoto, let them keep pounding and Scipio will give you a little bit of protection that gives you more time for your other marches to deal some damage. But obviously, <clears throat> the logical choice would be to kind of put him with other skill damaging commanders like Genghis Khan, Saladin, Pelagius, Babers. You can make combinations between them. A little bit Belisarius, nothing, <clears throat> nothing that crazy with Belisarius. Osman can also be a very viable option, probably even Boudicca, but again, no defense. With Osman, with Boudicca, with this type of commanders, you have, or even Babers, you have no kind of defense. With Babers, you kind of have mobility if you manage to get away, 50% march speed. And or with Belisarius, <clears throat> you kind of have mobility, but with commanders like Boudicca or Osman, you have no defense. So if you get target, or with Genghis, if you get target, that's a kind of go. In terms of rally situation, this is an interesting rally that I have done. It surprisingly it works, believe me, it's surprising. YSG primary with archers and with Minamoto second. But it, obviously, if you want to go with Cav Rally, Minamoto can definitely be used for Cav Rallies. He has as utilities i've done my video about my top three expertise commanders i'm just going to talk a little bit i can probably put a card about that if you want to see the whole video where is ysg is one of them one of the top three is richard and after that is Genghis khan but i would actually put miramoto as primary if he wouldn't be a pay to win commander he's a pay to win commander that's only way you can max out his skills by purchasing them from the shop. If you wouldn't be like that and you could have maxed his skills with the universal sculptures, I would have put him primary. The reason being that, and as crazy as it sounds, he has more utility than YSG does because any objectives in the Lost Kingdom can be taken with Minamoto leading rallies, forts, so that also includes barbarians. You can rally any objectives with him, you can defend with him using him as a second in command. He doesn't have any garrison, so Obviously, it makes sense. You don't put him primary, you put him as a second. He has a very powerful nuke and a debuff, which are very powerful. If you're lacking options to defend your city or any kind of defenses, you can put Santo primary, Minamoto second, and get a single target. Trust me, they will do awesome. So, yeah. <clears throat> but again, YSG, he's, I wouldn't say free to play, but can be maxed out by free to play players. He is the first one you should expertise. Again, Minamoto and Saladin also can work very, very nice synergy, especially that Saladin can offer him the defense that he doesn't have. Skill damage taken reduction, counter attack and calf defense, plus attack and a little bit of march speed. That's pretty, pretty dope for just one skill, having all three of them, even though it's not some very, very high numbers, but it's a little bit of all of them exactly what Cavs need. Minamoto can also be paired with uh, with Adderfled if you want to, even with Alexander. Even with Alexander, if you don't have, if you want to do multiple Cav marches and you don't actually have with who to pair Alexander, you have a max skill Alexander, you want to benefit from this debuff. <clears throat> this is a very powerful debuff and not to mention his primary skill. And after that you have the huge nuking, which pretty much works with any kind of troops, even archers. There's nothing wrong. The only thing you will not benefit if you use Alexander on the battlefield is this one. You benefit from all four. So that brings him to a very universal commander as well. A lot, a lot of synergy <clears throat> and utilities for Minamoto. If you're struggling with him surviving, I mentioned you can put him with Scipio, but if you have a max skill Julius, you can also put him with a max skill Julius, 15% more troops, defense and stats to your troops and all damage increase that's pretty dope minamoto primary so you can benefit from the calf tree because i usually recommend using specific specialization commanders primary because of their trees the leadership tree is more universal more for a mix of troops which brings it to a very very weak tree so the calf tree or archer or infantry they are kind of the three best tr talent trees that you can go with when trying to choose your primary commanders. Miramoto primary Julius second also works. 
Minamoto primary mech mech second also works, but it's a glass cannon type of situation. Not highly hyped about it to be honest. So again, plenty of utilities for Minamoto. And I have to also say that a very used march for rallies, as crazy as it sounds, was used with Barca primary for mix of troops in the early games and uh, Minamoto is a second in command. So Barca debuffing the target and Minamoto just doing the damage for, for rallies, for rally specific. But again, this was for early games, pretty much a lot of things work in the early game. In the late game, you know, it's the things are a little bit different. You need to use two commanders that are both specific for the same type of troops to bring more stats to those troops so you can deal more damage when you're rallying. But he can still be a primary rally commander and you can definitely go with Genghis, either Genghis primary or Minamoto primary. I would prefer Genghis primary, but probably he's not 60 and your Minamoto is 60. You can go with him primary, Saladin second for rallies. Again, nothing wrong with that. Plenty of combinations and possibilities for Minamoto. Also, <clears throat> a recommendation, if your Pelagius is not busy, is Pelagius primary and Minamoto second. The reason being that I'm gonna post a card uh, is the reason I also try to pair, whenever I pair, I put Epic's primary and as much as I can and legendary second, rather than putting legendary primary and Epic second. One exception would be Osman because he doesn't have specific specialization talent tree has leadership so he's definitely for a second in command i hope i did talk quite a lot about minamoto <laughs> again he's a very very good commander and to be honest very cheap for this game with a lot of utilities if you have any questions don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section below this is your boy legend ronnie signing off peace out yo and take care